In the last three episodes, we have learned a lot and understood how to load data into Snowflake from your local machine and reviewed the limitation of different approaches, be it Snowflake Web UI or SnowSQL CLI. There are cases where you have millions of records and what if that data file is sitting in your local machine and you want to load them into Snowflake. The web UI certainly does not support large file data loading and SnowSQL CLI does it. However, it takes hours to do that. So what is that we can do to load millions of records using SnowSQL CLI at no time? And that's what we are going to learn in this video. We will practice following points using Snowflake free trial edition or you can also use your enterprise edition. We will see how the parallel attribute works with put command and role of larger virtual warehouse to speed up the data loading from SnowSQL. So there are a lot of exciting things to learn and nobody will teach you or explain you in such detail. So stick until the end of this video. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this how to load data into a Snowflake series for true data professional like you. I am assuming that you already have SnowSQL CLI installed else you would not be able to practice them in your local environment. You can also download all the SQL script from my website and the link is given below in the description section. We are going to load customer data set having 2 million record and have some bad record so we can simulate good and bad records together. The data file has all kind of data types, varchar, number, decimal, date, boolean and timestamp. So let's and see them in action. Yeah. So we have seen how to load multiple data. But what if I have a data site which is big enough? Can I load the data through the SnowSQL? And let's try that scenario. So I am going to create a table which is a customer underscore 5k. And we are going to use this table to load a lot of data at one go. So my table is created. So I have zero rows and let's go to our classic web UI to see the limitation once again. So this is a table. I am clicking on the load button. I have selected a file which is of 72.2 MB of size. And it ends with an error saying that the maximum file size exceeded. So this is what the limitation we have with classic web UI. And unfortunately, it's no site does not give any option to load the data from its console. So we have only one option left if you have to load the data from your local machine using a put command. So let's load the data using a put command and run a copy command and see how does it work. So here is my put command which is picking a file from customer underscore 500k part 1.csv and it is placing again under the user stage followed by customer csv 500k and auto compress equals to false. Before that, let's go and check whether we have any file available in the user stage location. So we are good to execute this put command. Since it is a big file, it is taking little time. So let me fast forward. This is more than 15 minutes I have been waiting and this file is not uploaded. So I am going to abort this particular command and going to start a new session. I will compress this file in gzip and I will add another parameter called parallel and execute via parallelism. Since my previous 72 MB customer file did not go through, I have compressed the file. After compression, the file size is around 22 MB and it is having a gzip compression. I am going to use a larger warehouse and try to bring 20 parallelism to speed up my data loading. I do not have any file. So the current time is 11 o'clock. Let's run the put command. Now let's change the warehouse. And here is my revised put command, which is taking a csv.gz file and it is placing the file inside the customer 500k location and it will run 20 parallel thread. Let's run this and see how fast it can load the data. So now I can see my file is loaded pretty fast. Since I converted 72 MB of uncompressed file into a compressed file, it got loaded relatively faster. Okay. And the total time it took around 74 seconds, which is close to one minute, 15 seconds. Good. Let's run the list command. So I can see my data is available here. Okay. Good. 
Now I'm going to upload few more files. Those files are also having some bad records and then collectively I will run this copy command. Okay. So I have changed the parallelism to 40 and I have given the star here. I have three additional file part two, part three and part four. Now I can see that in 153 seconds, all the three files are loaded successfully. They are also close to 22 MB. The target size is also 22 MB. Good. Let's go back to the snow site and check all the files available within the location. I can see total four files are available in the location. Looks good. Since they are all gzip, I need to change my file format from none to gzip. So my file format with compression gzip is created. So this is a copy command which will load all the data set into a customer underscore 500k and this is the location from where the file will be picked up and this is the file format and on error it will continue and the file pattern is just csv but i have to make some minor changes it will have csv followed by gzip all good let's check how many rows we have in a customer table so i do not have any data set now let's run this copy command, see the data loading into action. So all the loads failed. Uh, let's see what is the reason. So it says the data compression type is invalid. It means that something wrong with this compression which need to be corrected. Let's first remove this file. So I do not have any file available in my customer location. Let's go back to the Snow SQL CLI and load them. So I used a wrong utility to compress a file. This time I have used the gzip utility to zip the file. Let's run this. So I am fast forwarding here. So it took 165 seconds to load all the four files. So let's first list I can see all the four files are available in my user internal stage under the customer location. Okay. Let me go to the snow site. I have the same result. Looks good. Now let's try to run the copy command. So my table has zero record and here it will try to load all the CSV file. If there is any error occurs, it will continue. So it looks it is processing the file. Now you see file one loaded without any error, file four also loaded without any error, file two and file three are having some issues and it says there are total four error seen and there are total 12 error scenes. Looks good. Here it has recognized this particular timestamp is having an issue and here there is an issue with delimiter. Okay. Now let's see how much data is loaded. So I have close to 1.9 million records and if I go to the query history, let's see how much time it has taken. So if you look into this data set, which has loaded 1.9 million records, it took just 5.9 seconds and the put command took roughly three minutes to load the data from your local machine to the Snowflake user stage location. So this means that less than four minutes, the two million records are loaded and inserted within the Snowflake. Now let's check the copy history. Now I can see all the failure loaded and partially loaded record. If I hover here, it clearly shows that there was an issue with the compression. Here the data is fully loaded, no issues. And when I hover in this particular color code, it is showing that there was an issue. Now only challenge I have it that I have to open that file and I have to understand what all issues are there. For that, there are different parameters which we are going to check it in our future videos. Now Snowflake provide couple of more parameters during the copy command as well as during the file format where you can specify and record those rows which ended with an error. So our web UI had a limitation. However, through the Snow SQL, we can speed up our overall loading. Snow SQL also take a lot of time if your data is uncompressed. However, you can use this attribute called parallel and by bringing the parallelism and by using a bigger virtual warehouse, you can load the data faster. Before we proceed further, I would like to share something with you. The Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse is the future. It is such a powerful platform with great features 
that it will eventually replace many legacy data platform, believe it or not. I have been adding many simple and real life scenario based videos and playlists so you all can learn. You don't need to buy any expensive courses. All the contents which I have created so far are freely available in this channel. My channel audience are really enjoying them and your success and your feedback really matters a lot. So do not hesitate to share your success or your experience. Moving next. We have seen a lot and learned a lot. What we have not seen when it comes to the data loading is how to handle column mismatch issue while loading large data set, a very common problem. What would we do with a special character while loading data set? Support for deduplication while loading a small and large data set using copy command and many more pragmatic and interesting scenarios. There are a lot to learn when it comes to data loading into Snowflake, which is one of the most important thing. So keep following this playlist and thank you for watching. Happy learning.